The King's Queen by Zero Zaking Zen. Chapter 3 Aaron's Point of View. I could feel the heat spread on my face, forcing my eyes to open, only to shut them once more when the rays of the early morning blinded me. I groaned and turned away from the light, but I wasn't able to take another nap with the uncomfortable feeling on my body. My skin felt sticky, and the scent of my room was overwhelming to the point that it hurt my nose. Blinking several times, I let my eyes adjust to the light. I discovered that I was naked. I sat up with a jolt. The smell in the room made my head swirl. Lust, sex, and runt. Good morning, honey. I snapped my head to the voice. The queen sat on one of the chairs near the window. With his blue robe adorned with black embroidery. It was actually my robe, but I did not deny he looked good on him. His delicate fingers ran along with his long raven hair. With his brows furrowing each time the, his fingers made a tangle. The sight was breathtaking. It was like he just came out of a painting. Oh, I triggered Geron last week. Sorry. He winked and stuck his tongue out at me. Didn't know you'd miss me that much. I felt my blood ran cold and my entire body froze. After Raphael's burn, I was able to control my inner instincts. I was better with it than anyone in the kingdom, but the queen's display might have triggered my instincts and forced my brain off. Oh, God. I breathed out and let my head fall into my hands, rubbing my face. I looked up and narrowed my eyes at the queen. What caused him to act this way? Is this some kind of game to him? Ever since we were wed, he hardly spoke to me. He didn't care about anyone, even his own child. Now that this was displayed in front of me was the exact opposite of the queen I once knew. This might be a trap, like some wicked brand of magic took over the queen's place during the previous journey. But the bond mark was still left on his nape proved that this was indeed the queen himself. But why on earth was he acting so differently? But, wait, I spoke, what day is it? I asked, feeling the chills on down my spine. Oh, it's Tuesday. I triggered your run, so it is a week. A week? I've been in this room for a whole week? I jumped out of the bed and dashed towards the bathroom. Fucking runt. It's been so long since I made her the queen, and it resulted in a week-long runt. My duties and responsibilities were on hold for a week. This may lead to my kingdom's ruin. Wait. I didn't manage to hear what he was going to say when I closed the bathroom door. I had more important things to attend to, and dwelling on my queen was not one of them. Levi's point of view, I flinched when the door slammed shut. And once again, I was accompanied by silence. I couldn't help but wonder why the king was always surprised by my ways. Hunt said that I tended to flirt with the king like it was a routine. But why did the king, Aaron, was shocked by my every move? I don't believe that he was that shy. Plus, he was a monster in bed. Leaning back in my chair, I let my thoughts wander. During his run, it felt so relieving, not just for me, but for Anne as well. I could feel it clearly on the bond. It felt like it had been years since we coupled, but we were red and made it. Wasn't sex just a natural thing? Maybe it was just the separation. Maybe. I nodded to myself. It was quite hard to grasp things. Not everyone woke up one day and discovered that they were the queen, and they were bonded with the king and had a child. Filling my lungs with fresh morning breeze, I calmed myself. It's okay, you can do this. Hanji is helping, and Owen is investigating the ambush. I just, I have to go with this. But, what do I do? I'm the queen. I have no idea regarding my duties. Hanji didn't mention anything. My thoughts were cut short when the door from the bathroom opened. I quickly straightened up and pretended to be busy with my hair as the king came out and proceeded to change his clothing. Suddenly, the air hangs awkward between us. Forgive me for taking advantage of you. I blinked. 
What? My instincts are the best of me. I request that you shouldn't tip me again. I leaned out of my chair and squinted my eyes at him. Is he blushing? I... I have to attend court. My absence might have started some trouble. Okay. But you should never apologize for what happened, you know. I leaned back in my chair and chuckled. The way he said it was like he had never done it before. Duh, we have a kid. He nodded at me and I watched him quickly dress up like he was desperate to leave the room. It happened in seconds. Aaron was at the door opening it. Wait! Good thing this time he actually stopped and slowly turned to look back at me. These past few days, it was really good, I smirked. Don't ever apologize for it. I witnessed how the king's face turned red and steam came out of his ears. Seriously, he was acting like a virgin. And Hanji had said we'd been together for two years. G goodbye. He then slammed the door. I took a deep breath and smile and managed to pull my lips. After a few moments, I thought a nap was calling me, but I shook my head, hoping that it will go away. I attempted to stand, but my legs gave out and I fell to the floor like a newborn fawn. Ow. I groaned. Then it registered to me again that my hips were sore as hair and my legs were shaking from the week-long marathon of sex. Why did it feel like my body hadn't had sex in a long time? Three knocks and two turns from the doorknob meant that Hanji was on the other side. Thank God, come in and help me. Hanji quickly came in and locked the door behind her. She skipped her way across and knelt next to me. It looks like you had a fun week. Can you tell that I can't feel my legs? I raised an eyebrow at her as I was flat on the floor. This is very normal. It's because you guys have been separated for three weeks. But why does it feel like my body has never had sex before? Because you guys are mated. Your body does that on purpose. She explained, and I envied her energy. God, I want to get off this floor. How did you get here when you can't walk in the first place? The bed was disgusting and my skin was as well as all the sweat and shit. So I crawled my way out of to the bathroom and washed up, changed clothes and sat on the chair. But as you can see, I used up all my remaining energy for that. I could feel another drowsy spell hit me. Now all I wanted to do was get off this floor and sleep on the clean bed. Okay, I'll clean the bed for you. Just wait a second. I hummed as I tried to at least sit up, cringing when the pain in my hips exploded with the small movements. Thankfully, Hanji was quick and the bed was ready with a fresh sheets and new pillows. With my arms over her shoulders and her arms supporting my waist, we limped our way back to the bed, finally tucked into the clean, warm bed. I guess I deserve a nap. I'll be back with breakfast. And you'll be able to meet Raviel this afternoon. That sounds great. That pulled up a tired smile on my lips. I meet up my son. Hopefully my legs will start to work. Maybe we could walk out to the garden. Hanji did mention that he loved the gardens. I couldn't wait to meet him. And please God, I hope he likes me. Oh shit, what happened if he noticed something was off? Hanji? I asked before she left the room. Yes? How do I treat my son? Hanji gave me a sad smile. You treat him with love and care. You would do anything in your power to show how beautiful he is and how much you love him with all your heart. I blinked at her, but then nodded as she left. What was that sad smile just now? End of chapter 3